Hey, it's Jesus from Low Code, and today I wanted to talk about Glide's new pricing. These new updates have been released uh, yesterday, January 17, 2024, and there are a few important things that you have to be aware of in case of um, that you're building Glide apps for clients or you're using Glide internally at your business. The first important thing is that finally we got back the yearly and monthly plans. Um, for a year and a half, we only had the ability to pay month over month, and now we have the ability to do the yearly plan when you save 20%. Now, I'll start with the free one. The, there are a couple of very important changes. Originally, when Glide launched, you were building an app from a Google Sheet. That was the first native integration from Glide. Nowadays, when you start on the free plan, the only data source that you can use are Glide tables. You can no longer use a Google Sheet or Airtable or, or an Excel file as your data source. You can import any of these third-party data sources, um, but the data will no longer be synced. So the only data source that you can use are Glide tables here. You get pretty much every single component um, you can only have one published app. The previous free version, you could have multiple published apps. Nowadays, you can only have one. You have two editors, so two builders, obviously. And remember, this in Glide is very important. You can have two editors logged in at the same time, building at the same time, only one of them. And another very important limitation is the number of users. You can only have 10 personal users on your app. Now, what does that mean? Previously in Glide, we had always had a difficulty of, of explaining private users versus public users. Nowadays, that has gone, but now Glide brings the term personal user. Personal user is a user that signs into your Glide app using a Gmail, a Hotmail, an AOL, a Yahoo email, etc. It also considers educational email .edu, um, emails. This means that if you have an app and somebody tries to log in using their Google Suite, Google Workspace, Microsoft Office email, they won't be able to sign in and this will be like a very bad user experience for your end user. So something to keep in mind. Now, something important is that Glide tables, when your app is built on top of Glide tables, updates don't count. And that's why you see the 500 updates limitation only here on the maker plan and above, but you don't see that on the free version. So you can only have, um, you can modify your app as much as you want because updates don't count. So that's a, a good thing about the free version. Anyway, moving on to the next version, the maker version, you now get the dual sheets integration. You get like plugins or whatever we're calling them, integrations, OpenAI, uh, Google Maps, Discord, a bunch of them. Um, again, limit one published app to editors, unlimited personal users. So the maker plan is good for universities, education, like maybe even MVPs where you're trying to build something like consumer facing, public facing. Again, the challenge is that if anyone tries to sign in with their work email, they won't be able to do so. Um, and, but the limit here is that you get only 500 updates. So it's very important if you're building something here on the maker plan, make sure that most of your data, most of your tables are using Glide tables and not Google Sheet. Otherwise, you'll eat up these 500 updates in no time. Another important thing is that integrations count as updates, and some of them count as two or three updates per action. So just be like very aware of that. You get Glide AI, you get custom branding, and you finally get here custom support. Uh, if we go over the list here, 25,000 records, uh, a gigabyte of storage, and pretty much that's it. Then we get to the team plan, which previously was called the pro plan. Uh, now you get all traditional data sources like uh, Airtable, Excel, Google Sheets, and Glide tables. In terms of integrations, you get a lot more. In here, now you finally have unlimited apps, which is something that we have all been used to. Five editors, 20 users. So this is like a very important limitation. Only 20 users can use the app within this current month. You might have 100 users on your users table, but only 20 of them will be able to log in and then you will have to pay per user. You get a couple of additional components here that were not available on the maker plan, which is the signature pad and here on the team, um, well, branded sign in, basic API access um, and protected columns. Now, the most important part here is the 20 usage limitation 
and the 5,000 updates. Previously on this, on the $100 a month plan, you had 10,000 updates. Again, make sure to build everything as much as possible using light tables and not Excel, Google Sheets or Airtable. Finally, we get to the business plan. Oh, something important about the team plan is that additional users start at five a month, um, if monthly or four if you pay yearly. Finally, back to the business plan, 249 a month. If paid monthly, it's 310. Um, you can have all of the data sources. So now we get to Clyde Big Tables, Postgres, MySQL, all of the SQL uh, databases. You get all integrations, uh, DocuSign, Twilio, etc. This doesn't mean that on any of the plans you can use webhooks to achieve the same using Zapier or Make though. Uh, in most cases here at Locode, we end up building those uh, third-party integrations using Make because we make sure that these are more robust and we have traceability and we have logs and all of that, something that we still don't have um, with the native client integrations. Unlimited, unlimited app, 10 editors, again, 20 users included. And this might be a challenge for some of you who are thinking about deploying Glide apps for large organizations, because then pricing is 10 monthly or eight annual per user. Remember again, only users who log in in the current month count. And then 10,000 updates. If I'm not mistaken, previously, this was 20 or 25,000 updates uh, a month. And then you get some additional features like the call API feature, um, the single sign it's a paid add-on. I think the most important part is the data sources. But again, you have to be very aware because if you're using a SQL database connected to your Glide app, um, and I'm assuming here that you might want to do that because you might want to have a lot more records. So here you can have up to 100,000 records per um, app. You will eat up those 10,000 updates very quickly. So. Here we have the pricing calculator that'll give you an idea of um, how much you're gonna spend. Something important as well is that previously updates were priced at a cent per update, now 100% increased at two cents per update. Um, but anyway, if you're in the team plan, if you have, let's say 30 users and let's say 15 or let's do 20,000 updates per month, you're gonna spend uh, 439 a month or 475 uh, if you pay monthly. So. Those are the things that you should be aware when using Glide. Uh, the maker plan, very limited, but the intriguing part is if the unlimited personal users setup will work, um, it'll be complicated. Um, obviously, if you're building an app for your business, you should start here on the team plan, if not on the business plan, if you need to rely, if you expect to grow and you want to start with a Glide Big Table to host or to store a lot of records. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.